it's kind of crazy to think about the fact that it's already been almost 10 years since we had a real Silent Hill game. I believe we've had one spinoff eight years ago. We've had a bunch of crappy pachinko machines and unfortunately stuff like Silent Hill skateboards. But when it comes to actually new content, a fresh chapter in the Silent Hill universe, it has been a very painful decade of fans just sitting here having to wait. But today, that wait is finally going to end. Today is the Silent Hill transmission. This is some sort of mysterious live stream being put on by Konami, and honestly, the excitement has been off the charts. I am just literally counting the seconds. It starts here in about eight and a half hours. I am just hype, hype, hyped. But what's funny is that somebody has managed to crack into the data of this already listed live stream, and it seems like we now know what's going to be revealed. And I want to talk about that. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, this is going to be a fun topic because I guess it's spoiler-ish in that we're going to talk about games that are not yet revealed. But also, I mean, it's mostly just going to be names and one console exclusive, it sounds like. Before we get into the spoilers, so to speak, you can see here that I decided to do a poll over on my Twitter account where I said, what are your hype levels at for the Silent Hill broadcast? Now you can see 21% said they are super hyped. Right here we have 28%, which is excited but careful, which I think is probably the safest bet curious and then uh, a shocking 19% just said Silent Hill is a fart. Look, I don't know why I even put this. The fact that you people voted Silent Hill is a fantastic series with a storied history. Um, anyways, okay, so are you ready? Three, two, one, let's take a look. So the biggest thing about this is that whenever you post a YouTube video, there's all this background information called metadata. Inside this metadata is stuff like keywords, it's description boxes, it's all the extra details that aren't just the video itself. It's basically making sure that this video is findable on search engines. Whenever you're looking for my content and you type in Dreamcast Guy Reviews Games or whatever, that is what causes it to pop up is this metadata. Well, people have been scraping through it and they discovered these exact keywords. Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill PlayStation, Steam, Silent Hill Transmission, which is pretty obvious, that's the name of the stream itself, Silent Hill, and then a lowercase letter F, Ascension, Silent Hill Ascension, and Return to Silent Hill. Now, when you first see this, people were kind of wondering what it is, but by actually going through these other bits, there's definitely going to be some big announcements. So this is the unlisted description box, and you can see that Silent Hill 2 is going to be a PlayStation game. It has a direct link. Now, as it stands, the hyperlink yet is not listed, I guess probably because uh, the store is not up. I can't, you know, have you link to something that doesn't exist yet. Now, there's two separate things about this. One, I do think that the rumors of Silent Hill becoming a PlayStation exclusive are probably true. Um, I know this sucks. It's unfortunate because there is a lot of fans on other consoles. I do think it's also going to be coming to Steam since Steam is listed in the metadata as well. But I think it's kind of fascinating to think that perhaps Sony has bankrolled this or that Sony funded it. But what else about this that we know is that uh, there is some other listings inside of here. So it's interesting that this, this metadata has managed to be scraped so efficiently, but here's the main list we now know. Silent Hill 2, the remake, definitely getting shown. That's probably what I think is going to stir up the most conversation. A new movie called Return to Silent Hill, which, I mean, I'll be brutally honest, I'm not super excited about video game movies in general, other than like Sonic the Hedgehog, and I guess a little bit the Mario movie. But uh, right here, Silent Hill Ascension. This is the project that to me, I am personally the most curious about. There have been some leaks I've already reported on in the past about whatever the heck Silent Hill Ascension is. Uh, project Sakura. This is going to be, according to the rumors, 
a short story compilation of instead of having a singular tale of James Sunderland finding his missing saucy wife, instead it's a bunch of tiny bite-sized stories of random people who have fallen in to Silent Hill or people whose lives have been ruined by Silent Hill or magic that has affected those who have come near Silent Hill. I think that this is an interesting idea because I kind of love that you could just keep doing that. Now, the rumor is that this is by Anna Peruna. Uh, see right here, we also know now that the stream itself is going to be 48 minutes long. Uh, what's it, what are they called? Anna Peruna. They're the people that did stuff like, I believe, um, oh gosh, what do they do? They, they, they publish all sorts of games, but they're kind of the indie mid-budget company. They're not the big AAA releases. As it stands, I'm definitely excited. I think I'm still going into this as cautiously optimistic. To go at my own poll here, I have to say that I'm, I guess I'm mixed because I'm super, super hyped. I can't believe this day is finally here, but also I, I just don't know what the Silent Hill 2 remake is going to look like. One of the leaks that's been going around is that apparently they might try and divide Silent Hill 2 into chunks and there's going to be Silent Hill Chapter 2 or Part 1, Chapter 1. I, I mean, we'll see. That would be weird. Some of this other metadata is making people think that we're going to get a Silent Hill 1 remake or at very least maybe a remaster, a re-release on Steam. Even that I would be incredibly happy about. Uh, I recently replayed all of Silent Hill 1 for a girl I was dating at the time. I just beat it like a movie. Um, I think that it's still incredibly effective to the, the graphics, the gore, the spookiness. But artistically and visually... The original Silent Hill could definitely use a little boost. Even if they just, I don't know, put it through a remastering engine and put it on Steam, I, I would easily pay 20 bucks for that. Straight up, that that's all I want in life, and I'll be incredibly happy. I'll beat it in 4K on my TV and then on 720p on my Steam Deck. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Are you excited for the future of Silent Hill? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. This is just a wild, wild, wild day. I might still stream it. I might stream this thing. Um, the rumor is that we're going to get a surprise demo for whatever this new game is. Uh, and I am definitely going to be playing that. Okay, well, you guys have a great day. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And please keep dreaming. I can't believe, I cannot believe we're talking about Silent Hill legitimately in 2022. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.